Hi, we are Mitch and Jan. We retired early in 2023 and sold everything we owned. We just spent the winter months slow traveling Europe and Southeast Asia, and we've now returned home to Canada to live in our converted sprinter van. We hope you'll enjoy following our journey, and we hope to inspire you to live your best life, whatever that looks like to you. The Kosamui Airport is the cutest. We are outside. It feels like we're just in this bougie little town walking past cafes and little eateries. It's so cute. It's like a little village. What do we have here, bud? Well, we have complimentary drinks and snacks. This is like amazing. Orange juice, bottles of water, cookies, little snacks, pastries, and sandwiches, coffee and tea. It's like so nice being Like for free, I know. Okay, this is the absolutely beautiful um, International Departures Gate at the Coast Movie Airport. I'm right now at gate six. It's all outdoors, there's fans, it's just beautiful. Usually once you get through security at an airport, there's no outdoor space, you're trapped inside, so this is just spectacular. Ladies and gentlemen, we have now landed at the International Airport. So we're here in one of the lounges at the airport in Hong Kong. So we had, I think, like maybe a seven hour layover. Yeah, so we're getting ready to um, board the plane and we're heading to Paris. And that's, I think, a 14 hour flight. Yeah, that's our longest leg that we have to do on this uh, journey home. I'm ready to sleep. Mitch is worried he's not gonna sleep. Yeah, I don't sleep well in planes, but I'm gonna give the old college try. Um, and then I think we have another eight hour layover in Paris. <laughs> it's Fo seven and a half. Okay, followed by a seven and a half hour flight uh, back to Ottawa. So we'll be there in no time. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Paris, Charles de la It is a 5.32 a.m. local time. Okay, folks, so we're back in Canada. Um, Jan's wearing a toque, it's actually um, quite chilly. Um, you know, we're just getting back from Thailand, so this is quite a, a change. Anyways, uh, we're doing something super exciting. Um, we are taking our cover off Sadie, which is our converted uh, Mercedes Sprinter van. So we're very, very excited about that. Yeah, it's super in the early in the morning. Um, maybe because we have jet lag, we're able to be up this early, but rain is in the forecast. We want to get this cover off uh, before it starts raining because we want it to stay dry. It's a cold morning here. It's frosty. Um, so we're just going to get right at it, get this cover off so we can get this girl uh, cleaned out and we can start living in the van. <laughs> All right, let's do it before we freeze. Okay. So we're getting stuff into the van. Um, Mitch is working on putting all the batteries in because we had to pull those out for the winter and they've been sitting in my brother's basement. And how heavy are those, babe? Oh my Lord, they are so heavy. <laughs> they look like a regular car battery, uh, but they're very heavy. Okay, so what do we got here? Is there two batteries there? Yeah, there's there? two here and then we have four in the back. 
and they're all six volt batteries. So the equivalent to three 12 volt batteries. Okay, so my job has been going through the van because um, we did have some little critters. I hope they are not living in here or made a home in here. We haven't come across that yet. It doesn't smell. It actually smells very good in here, doesn't it? It smells really good, yeah. Um, we had um, the bounce. I had the bounce sheets shoved all over the place, except for in the cutlery drawer. And that is where we found some mouse droppings. So Mitch is gonna hook up the batteries and then we're just gonna let the solar sort of trickle charge that. So we're not gonna turn on any lights or anything in here until we feel confident or know that these batteries have a full charge. I'm just gonna get at it. It is freezing here. It's very hard to climatize from, um, feels like 46 to 48 degrees that we were uh, living in Thailand just three or four short days ago. Um, to it's six degrees. I think it feels like minus six, but I don't know what the actual feels like is, but it's windy and cold. Still have not found a nest, so. Well, I did find something, actually. I What'd you find? You, because you were on the phone talking. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> yeah, so in the back garage, we had a towel. Um, underneath mm. their Blackstone grill, and that's where the mice brought all of the paper towel that they chewed up and all that kind of stuff. Oh, so, so they were thinking about nesting there. Yeah, so then we might not have a nest, which is good. <gasps> Gonna carry on, lots of work to do, and we'll update you later. <gasps> oh, yes. Okay, so the latest discovery is our little critter friends. Uh, maybe we left a also a roll of toilet paper um, on the bathroom roll and Mitch has made a little home discovery. So let's go look at that. All right. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, well, we have the trusty shop back. And we're gonna get rid of the nice home of the critters and the cleaning continues. Okay, so carrying on with getting the van ready, um, today's job is to get all the antifreeze out of the tanks, the pipes, and get it basically unwinterized. Uh, so we're leaving that up to the fellows and I will be videoing. Hello. <laughs> What's the first step here, fellas? Well, we're going to connect the water. Step one, connecting water so that we can flush out the tanks. Okay, they're starting the procedures. All right. What have put, we got here? Well, we're going to put the plug back in the hot water tank. Step two or three, open all your valves. Oh, that one was open. Get some the bathroom. Okay, valves are open. We have flow in the bathroom. Um, we've hooked it up to the hose. We're trying to run all the taps out to get all that antifreeze out of the lines. We're gonna let that all run clear and uh, make sure we don't have any leaks, etc. But everything looks good. You been? So far, so good. Okay, yesterday we got all the tanks um, flushed out, all the antifreeze out. However, in doing so and filling up our other tanks, uh, we had, of course, another little issue. Yeah, we had a leak. Um, so not a super bad leak, but anyways, come to, so this was a problem, a little fitting on the water pump over here. So this little fitting right here that we uh, just had to acquire and uh, I'm just finishing installing it and we're going to turn on the water and we're gonna see if uh, that did the trick. Fingers crossed. Yes. Okay, there's a nice puff of dogs. All right, so yeah, we're gonna get, Mitch is gonna keep working on this, going to get that new piece back on. We're gonna fill up the tanks and hope that everything is good and we have no more little mischief leaky water in the van. The plan is to get the van um, completely fixed up, um, get it packed up at least initial pack up the way we want it and then we're going to give you a van tour the tour of our summer home i think we're filling up some water now so i'm going to go and see how we're getting along holding tank is filling up and holding 
The water is holding. Okay, that is good. <laughs> Let's take a look. Oh, that's looking good. Yeah, so it was dripping right out of here. Got it? Got it. Perfect. Okay, that is nice so excellent. Excellent. Okay, one more little job done. Yeah, so Mitch has one other little thing he has to do because in letting the tap run in the bathroom, realize that the drain is not draining quite as quickly as it should. There's some sort of blockage. So one more job today, babe. I got it. Piece of cake. I'm sure the P-trap is just a little plugged. We're now ready to do a van tour. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm so excited. Sounds good. We've kind of seen her on the outside. <laughs> little silver bullet. Okay, so welcome to our Home on Wheels. So first of all, I'd like to say that we did buy this van outfitted the way it is. So it was already a built van um, and we bought it. We have not made any changes except we did replace a fan. That's really it. We do have plans and we do want to make more changes to the van, but we thought it would be a good idea if we lived in it for a season and really got to see what it is that we want, um, what's gonna be best spent money on so that we're not doing something and then just redoing it next year. So, first of all, we love this. All of our shoe storage, we just jam our shoes under this step here. This also really helps because it extends our floor out and just gives us that extra six inches. That's definitely a feature that will stay. Um, I just personally would like some nice new flooring, <laughs> maybe this year. Anyway, and we come on up in here. Um, we have the ultra high, so it's awesome. I'm not a tall person, but I can stretch my arms up over my head and still not touch the ceiling in here. It's amazing. Um, I believe Mitch is pretty much in the same position. So this is really awesome. Um, this is our couch that also converts into our bed. So very easily, actually, if I just pull this out, it transforms right into our double bed. Um, we leave everything pretty much made and then we just put this cover sheet on it. We have under the bed is tons of storage under here. So we keep dish pans, things we don't use a lot to get stored back there. Um, the blocks for leveling, easy access right there. Anyway, this is wonderful, all this storage under the bed. Um, so love that idea. We also installed this. This is our addition. We put this curtain in here. So we literally put up a shower curtain rod and then we put these curtains up, which we got from your friendly neighborhood giant tiger. And you know, for cheap, uh, $10 panel curtains, they are pretty much blackout and they're gray and they work just super for giving us privacy once we're parked at night. Okay, so we also in our van came with this swivel seat. So this is the passenger seat, obviously is turned around when we're driving, but when we're parked, it's really nice because it just adds to this nice hangout area. So this we uh, make a lot of use of, it's really awesome. Um, so we also have over here, we have our lagoon table. So these are very common in vans. Um, it attaches here to the wall. You can adjust the height and then it swivels out and can do many different things. Not in love, this is one thing I would love to do this year is maybe just get a new top for this lagoon table. Maybe something live edge that just sort of um, fits in with the rest of the van, but uh, very handy, great for working, or we just throw a laptop on here. Look, we can eat here if we're eating inside because it's rainy, and it creates a perfect space because underneath we have empty floor space, and we run with the Bougie RV um, cooler, which is a fridge freezer. It's basically 12 volt. Um, you can plug it directly into an outlet, 
um, or you can put it into the 12 volt of the van, which is what we do. You can also set it. It can be all a freezer, all a fridge or half and half. So that's how we have ours set up. It's great. It's got the temperature controls here. Um, this is a nice deep fridge. So, I mean, as you can see, it's like taller than my knees. So it's really nice and deep. We can get lots of stuff in there. It has lights, it lights up. Um, when you open it at night. And we have this set up as the freezer. So we have frozen meats and everything in here. Again, so deep, has these nice baskets, light. Anyway, we love our Bougie RV. I'm not sure what we would do um, without that because we do also have the small RV fridge. So your standard sort of little bar fridge, which you can actually get a lot of stuff in. But between the two, we, um, we can actually almost pretty much have like a week shopping like veggies and meat so it's spectacular um so we have basically this set of three drawers um you know standard cutlery going in the top drawer and then we just keep a variety of foods spices measuring cups um anything we can get in these nice big deep drawers we love these little latches that keep everything closed when we're turning corners except this one here broke um, so we have a child lock temporarily on there until we can get these ordered and back on. So again, just like pots, um, our coffee perk, and we actually have still room in this drawer, but I'm sure that won't last for long. <laughs> um, this is just a basket of stuff that hasn't really found a home yet. Uh, we do have the propane, uh, cooktop. So this is awesome. And we don't mind cooking in here. We do have an amazing um, Durafan. Is it a Durafan? Max Airfan. Max Airfan. I never call it the right thing. We have this lovely Max Airfan. So it's it's awesome because if you're boiling food or cooking anything, it just all exhausts up there and you don't get the smells or the moisture in the van. We've kind of like come up with some solutions here. Um, this is actually our window covering, so we, we can take this down if we're parked for a bit. Sometimes we take that down, um, but it just stays up when we're transient. Um, this sort of acts as awesome storage. I don't know how, but that cutting board just happens to stay there. Smell the sweet grass. We have like a knife holding block that's kind of jammed in there as well. We have this little, I think it was supposed to be a garbage can that hung on the counter, but it turned into sort of our big utensil holder. I may have, I may have overflowed it. <laughs> Oops. Anyway, um, and then we have under here, this is actually, we have the gray water for the sink when we do the dishes, which takes up most of this cupboard, unfortunately, but it is just the perfect size for these big spice jars and my big um, container of olive oil. And there's just uh, some baggies and stuff jammed up on top because we try to find every inch of space. Um, okay, this is just a weird little hatch into our back garage, which we don't really use and actually just has been started popping open lately. Anyway, you can see all our storage up here. Um, we have all this open face storage. And again, this is how it came. These are sort of bungee cords that actually hold everything in pretty well. Um, so it functions okay. We're not crazy, crazy with the look. We'd rather have it closed in. So that's definitely on our list of Let's see how we feel. Um, also, we've added some shelving just to give us some layers. Um, so we might do something more permanent in there. We also have these little storage things up top. Um, so very functional. Also, so that's mostly kitchen stuff that we have here. We have our plates and bowls here, but then I've taken over most of this with my clothes. Um, so again, the same open face. This, I'm not even gonna open it, but I let Mitch have this real estate, this nice big cupboard. It is also though a big wide open cupboard. I believe they use it to hang clothes. We're gonna put a shelf in and make use of it like that. And then everything below that is not useful storage for us. There's batteries down there, um, more holding things, just a lot of batteries I think um, for the most part. This is our whole control panel for the van. So we know how much solar we have coming in. We have the reading of what our battery voltage is at. Um, we have, <laughs> Mitch should do this part. I don't even know what these buttons are for. Lights. Oh yeah, they're for our lights. I never use that. Honest to God, there's another control switch over here, which I use all the time. Yeah. Um, yeah. So anyway, this is, yeah, our inverter switches. We are going to install, 
um, a battery, what is it, babe? Monitor. A battery monitor. So we're actually gonna be able to see the levels of our batteries. So that's blue job. Maybe we'll show you how that installation goes. And I will not be the star of that show. Okay, so this is our bathroom. We have a full wet bath. I'll just turn on the light here. So it is designed so that when you close the door, um, you are totally encapsulated and it should be waterproof. We have a shower here. Um, so you would just shower. We have not done that. We're actually looking into installing an outdoor shower. We're not keen on showering in the van. Um, if we had to, we would. Um, the floor is just a pan that then has a drain, uh, so that drains out. The toilet is up on a little bit of a pedestal. Um, so we have the regular RV toilet, um, and we run with a black tank. I know it's not everybody's favorite. We actually are fans. So we have a um, little bit of a little um, vanity storage there where we keep things. I think we're going to make some more use of these walls with little things like this toothbrush holder that just suction cups up there so it's perfect, keeps everything um, in place while we're traveling as well. So we have our sink that has hot and cold running water. There's our water pump um, and just our soap dispensers. It's just easier than we don't have hand soap bouncing around as we're driving. And then we do have lots of storage actually under here. Um, it looks small, but you know, I'm pretty good at uh, Tetrising some stuff in there. So that's our bathroom. Um, that pretty much concludes the tour of our home. <laughs> I think that we could go outside. Um, we'll show you because behind this wall, we're at the back of the van. So a lot of vans, they will have the beds back here, which we also kind of think we might like that, but we actually really like the setup because we have a great storage area at the back of the van. So we're gonna take you out there now and I'm gonna let Mitch show you his garage. All right, so here is the back of our van, the garage. <laughs> so again, so we use every inch of space that we can find and we just added a closed drying rack. Um, so I'm still working on a proper spot for that. But... That works for now, as long as you remember to catch it. <laughs> okay, so on this wall here, um, we just keep things like, um, you know, booster cables, umbrellas, uh, broom, uh, Janet's raincoat, um, barbecue attachments, axes, any anything that will fit there we'll put there um and again like just making use of good spaces so like we try and have a spot for for everything and this is my latest masterpiece because again we keep adding things so there's actually a lot of stuff in here so we have um a full blackstone barbecue uh, we have our dining tent propane tank um our bag of tools we got a ladder um we've got our two uh, lawn chairs we have a spare water container um and we also have our big case with our starlink so that was our newest purchase that we had to try and, and figure out so everything fits actually nicely in here and it's so jammed that nothing really moves, <laughs> which is fantastic. Um, I guess, what else can I tell you about the outside? So uh, we are totally off grid. We have a 385 watt solar panel up on the roof that charges um, six um, AGM uh, batteries. We haven't had any issues with power. Uh, we've been off grid for days and um, you know it charges up well during the day. And we can also start the van and the alternator will charge our batteries as well if it's a really cloudy day. So our new home on wheels is a 2012 uh, Mercedes Sprinter van, 3500. Um, it's got the dualies, so <laughs> when we have to replace the tires, it's going to cost us a lot of money, but that's fine. Um, and like Janet said earlier, so they don't make um, the ultra high roof anymore. That was, I think they made it to like 2015 or something like that, which we enjoy because we have like an extra eight inches from a brand new um, van like this. We also have some projects that we're going to be doing this year. Janet said we're going to do the outdoor shower. We're about to order that. We have to replace our big sunroof up here. Had some issues with it and it doesn't stay latched properly, hence the <laughs> green bungee cord. You can see that up there. <laughs> Without the green bungee, 
Yeah, then when you're driving, the sunroof is <laughs> flopping around and opening up. Um, but yeah, so we have some projects we're going to do this year. And like Janet said, we just want to live in it for a summer and see what we actually need. And um, I thought we put the floor on hold till next year, but it sounds like the floor might have to happen this year, uh, which I agree. The floor looks like an old, I don't know, school classroom floor or something like that that just yeah. sort of needs to it's needs to go very so industrial like other things so we do have um heat in the van um obviously when the vehicle's running up front but we also have a propane heater um that heats um you know the rest of the van when needed but we do have another heater in the van yeah we do have right here it's a diesel heater um it's tied into our diesel fuel tank however it doesn't work and um, haven't had any luck finding um, a repair uh, place yet, but still looking and working on that. So that is it. That's our little tour of Sadie. Um, as we make little improvements to her, we will certainly show you, but we hope you're going to have fun this summer. We've got some fun things planned. A lot of fun things. Yeah, some good adventures and just even going to visit our family and stuff in Ontario. Um, they are sort of far and wide, so we'll have some good road trips just doing that and exploring some of the towns um, that we meet along the way and the towns where they live. So yeah, we want to just have some fun this summer really enjoying places close to home and uh, bringing you along to show you the fun things that we have but this doesn't mean that we're not going to travel because oh, no. we're leaving again um, I think mid-October again and we've got some really cool exciting places that we're going to be traveling to um, over the winter we are planning to go out to Newfoundland. So excited about that. Yes, so awesome. that will be um, a great series, hopefully, our trip to Newfoundland, so look forward to that. But until then, um, yeah, we'll be doing day trips, road trips, side trips, and just van life, and um, bringing you along and letting you know what it costs, what it's like, and how we feel about uh, retiring in a van. Exactly. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. Um, we've got a lot of cool stuff happening. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it. I think that's all for now. Awesome. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.